I'm going to be explaining binary numbers. Here are some examples of binary numbers. So binary numbers are base 2. Every digit in a binary number can either be a 0 or 1. And every binary number is either unsigned or signed. That doesn't really make sense. Here's a tool. Decimal numbers are base 10 numbers, and every number in a decimal number can be a 0 through a 9. So, unsigned binary numbers have a range proportional to the number of n bits, n being 4. The range that your n bits can represent are 0, inclusive, to 2 to the n minus 1. And if you're using a signed number representation system, your range is negative 2 to the n minus 1 inclusive to 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1. Right, at this point, it's a good idea to practice ranges. So decide on the number of n bits and then determine the range for both the unsigned n bit binary number and the signed n bit binary number. You should understand the range more as you get to the end of the video. So the next point here is weight. Here you have a 4 bit binary number. And so you'll know how to use a 4 bit binary number by understanding what I mean by weight. So here's a tool. Every bit has a position. 0, 1, 2, and 3. And every position has a weight. 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, and 2 to the 3. And now, this is how you use 4-bit binary numbers. You multiply the coefficient and the weight. So here's your coefficient, and here's the weight. And that's how you get 5 in decimal using a 4-bit binary number. Base 2, this is your 4-bit, four 4-bit four binary base 2 number. And if you multiply the coefficient and the weight, you get 5 in decimal. All right, continuing with practice ranges. So your professor will always say, use a 4-bit unsigned number or use a 4-bit signed number and your textbook will do the same. Your textbook will say, use a six bit unsigned number or use a six bit signed number. You're always told if it's unsigned or signed. So we'll do an example real quick for ranges. And we're gonna do unsigned first. And we're gonna do n equals four bits, consistent with what I have on the board. So n equals four. I'm just gonna write a u for unsigned. If it's unsigned, the range will be from zero to 15. And if it's signed, the range will be negative 8, 7. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and skip practice adding, and I'm going to go to, is, is, is this positive or negative? So you understand the difference between unsigned and signed binary numbers. All right, so I kind of lied to you. You got to be careful. When you multiply the coefficient and weight, it has to be of a positive number. So if it's unsigned, it's always a positive number. If it's signed, well, is this a positive or negative number? It's a negative if the leftmost bit is a 1. All right, so you, you should have an idea of what's going on. Everything's been simple so far. So you have your binary number, base 2, it's either 0 or 1. Now your binary number is either unsigned or signed. Your range is proportional to that number of n bits. Your range is determined by this uh, for unsigned. And by this for signed, okay? So then I explained weight and how you have to multiply the coefficient and the weight. Okay, and now I'm just saying careful, when you multiply the coefficient and weight, it has to be of a positive number. So we did an example here. We practiced the range of the n equals four bit number. We found for unsigned, it's inclusive from zero to 15. And for signed, 
it's inclusive of negative 8 to 7. Now, again, if it's unsigned, it's always a positive number. And if it's signed, you know, you have to determine, is this a positive or negative number? Well, here you go. If the word problem, your professor, your textbook says, we're using signed, signed, you know, it says signed, you know it's negative if the leftmost bit is a one. Raise that up a little. Now, here you go. These are four different four bit signed binary numbers. And you know it's a negative if the leftmost bit is a one. Leftmost bit, it's negative if the, le if the left, leftmost bit is a one. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to go from a positive signed number to a negative signed number and from a negative signed number to a positive signed number. I'm gonna call it the signs trick. Super easy. All right, so we wanna go from a signed positive two four bit binary number to a signed negative two four bit binary number. Copy all the zeros up until the first one, and then copy the first one, and then flip every bit after that. Okay? Same thing, so if you we want to go from a negative three signed four bit binary number to a positive three signed binary four bit binary number. Copy all the zeros up until the first one, and then copy the first one, and then flip every number after that. That's positive three in four bit signed binary numbers. All right, I'll just do these again. Copy all the zeros up until the first one, copy the first one, and then flip every number after that. There you go. So that's the sign trick. That's how to go when you're using signed numbers to go from positive to negative or from negative to positive. And then once you have your positive number, you can multiply the coefficient and the weight and you can determine what number that is. You just learned a lot today. Um, practice adding. That's the final step. So, practice adding. Just pick an n bit number and then add another n bit number. And you can either do unsigned or you can do signed.